<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's Reflection and today's reflection is based on Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah was an Old Testament prophet. He was not very popular with his people. He was also known as the weeping prophet. He foretold the destruction of Jerusalem and the exile of his people into Babylon amongst other things. So today's reading is from Jeremiah chapter 11 verses 18 to 20. Then the Lord told me about the plots my enemies were making against me. I was like a lamb being led to the slaughter. I had no idea that they were planning to kill me. Let's destroy this man and all his words, they said. Let's cut him down so his name will be forgotten forever. O Lord of heaven's armies, you make righteous judgments and you examine the deepest thoughts and secrets. Let me see your vengeance against them, for I have committed my cause to you. So God had warned Jeremiah of the plot against him at the time of his commissioning, that the opposition to Jeremiah would be a threat to his life. He saw himself as being led like a lamb to the slaughter with no power to resist the shepherd he trusts. He does trust, however, and prays for the protection of his shepherd, his father. A bit of a spoiler alert, Jeremiah is protected. It is thought by some scholars that this passage prefigures the death of Christ, as does Isaiah's suffering servant. So we are in the middle of Holy Week and after the excitement of Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem and it really was a triumphant entry, things take a turn for the worst. Praying on the Mount of Olives, Jesus asks his Heavenly Father to take the cup of suffering away from him. And another spoiler alert, Jesus did suffer greatly and died on the cross, but he died for all of us. But this isn't the end of the story. But you'll have to tune in on Easter Sunday to find out what happens next. But this year, there will be no public celebrations of Easter. The church buildings will be quiet. However, the church will thrive in our own homes. God is at work in our communities. As Jesus and Jeremiah put their trust in God, so should we. God is with us at this time, at all times, in all of our lives. And some words from Psalm 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. So please keep yourselves safe and trust in God our Father. Amen. Mm -hmm.